Hello, welcome to this lecture on problem posing. So I'm Teacher Melai. Okay, so what is uh, problem posing? Problem posing and problem solving are accepted in the center of mathematical thinking according to Turhan in 2011. So problem solving can be uh, described as the, the ability of uh, the student to make questions to, or to come up with a new problem. So it is an inventive activity. It is a mirror that def reflects the nature and aspect of a student's mathematical experiences. So that is by Van den Brink in 1987. So it helps creative uh, thinking. So as mentioned in the previous uh, slide, so it is inventive. So it is, uh, of course, it can improve creative thinking. It can also improve a student's problem-solving abilities. And there was a close relationship between problem posing and problem solving. So as that mentioned, these are accepted in the, the mathematical community and that problem posing is related to problem solving. And um, based from the study of Ari Khan and Unal, Kai and Huang, on the, their study, there was a closed relationship. But uh, there are also some studies that disconfirm uh, this. So some, uh, some findings said or, or reveals rather that there, there is no strong correlation between the problem solving and problem posing. Now, to just uh, to have a picture of uh, this, so let us uh, consider, for instance, the, um, a study on uh, metacognitive strategy knowledge used through mathematical problem solving for service teacher. So in the, this study, so I was able to come up with a framework. So that looks like this. So this shows a problem solving stage we're in um, with the, the factors that affects the problem solving stages and the, the metacognitive strategy knowledge of a student. So just like, for example, here we have the read, uh, read and understand. So this, the steps in solving or the processes in solving problem exploration and device a plan, carry out assessment, and then going back to read and understand. So at the center of this, so we can find the metacognitive strategy knowledge like preparatory production evaluation. So these are the metacognitive strategy knowledge. And of course, we can also find in this the framework or figure problem posing. So with this, uh, uh, with the problem posing or the ability now of the student to think critically in a creative way or inventive way. So this leads now, uh, this leads him or her going back to read and understand. So it might be that after the whole process, after solving the problem, so the student might uh, obtain or might create another problem. So that is the problem posing. Teachers are known for being expert in problem posing. So they are the one who are good also in um, posing problems. But of course, that's a different uh, story. So. In this video, our focus is only the problem posing of them, students. So thank you for watching.